recording. Okay, YouTube, this is LSV's deck from the card for card from the Pro Tour, so we're going to give this a try to a league. This deck is likely not going to be very good, I think, because I think that the answer to the White Weenie decks is Goblin Chain Whirler. And while this deck does very well in the mirror, I think it's pretty stone cold dead to a Goblin Chain Whirler. So we're going to give this a try. Just because you have many more, actually, because you have many more um, X1s, like X1, 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 like, it's just not, not good. Yeah. So, we're going to give this a try, because I, I have a... I've got, like, I, I was talking about this earlier. I guess I can kind of show it here. I've got a circle of where I think, like, standard's going to move right here. And I think right now, I think as of, like, 11, 12 today, I think the best deck to play, if I was going to play a tournament, like, you know, would be Mono Red. Because that's going to react to what happened to Pro Tour the best, in my opinion. I think if you want to be on the next level, I think a Branch Walker deck is where you want to be. I don't think Drake's is very good. You know, I wanted to play it just because I wanted. To, I like it. Uh, this hand is very good. We have triple one drop into Pride. Like to not probably not draw the rest of the land for the rest of the game. So I don't know sequencing which one I'm supposed to start with here. It's probably Leon and Vanguard because it attacks for two next turn. Um, uh, yeah, so, like, I think level one right now is Adanto decks, level two is Chain Whirler, and then level three are Branch Walker decks right now. Nope, turn, God, I clicked the wrong time there. Uh, we're not, I'm going to offer this trade here. We're not going to compound our mistakes. No, we're going to keep our cards in, in line here. So we're just going to go pass through. I just motoed at the wrong time, which is a little annoying. But this is going to protect this. Yeah, so I think, like, if Drake's, like, I think the Drake's deck in your local meta game is pretty bad because I think that they're going to move to a Danto decks. And a Danto decks. Uh, like, I wouldn't play Drake's. Oh, yeah, so you won't have to worry about it. Yeah, that makes sense also. They put a card on top. I'm queued for two RP tickies. Nice. How long? How much longer are there RP tickies? All right. So I think we just go to combat. We're gonna swing with the team here. I don't think we're not going to Pride of Conquerors. There should this should be the last two. I'm going to sack this though. Turn off all of these. Because I would like to keep the life total dive down. Okay. So we trade dive down for Dauntless Bodyguard, which is okay, and now we know that our history is gonna land. And then we're just going to give history lessons for the rest of the game. It's interesting to think that our opponent would be at two life and we'd be at one life higher. So 
that's worth paying attention to. So that thing's got to go. So I can go history plus healer's hawk into attack. I can go tap this, tap this, tap history token, tap healer's hawk, and get this thing out of the way. And I think getting in the two points, what matters more, two points? I think I want to gain the life. No, we're going to try to kill him. So let's do this, 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 this. Especially with his Pride of Conquerors. So we should be able to like beat the tar out of our opponent next turn. Because we're going to get a history trigger. And Pride of Conquerors is going to have... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, we have by a mile. A Conclave Tribunal is nice. And I think that this mono blue deck on my list is behind the Adanto decks. Like, if you want to beat the mono blue, I think that you play Adanto. And Adanto is going to do that. So I don't think we actually want Conclave Tribunal, even though it's pretty insane there. I think we want Baffling Ends, maybe Aurelia, but like, I don't know if we're trying to play like that mid-range game. Yeah. Like, maybe we shave a Pride of Conquerors, because I don't think we're going to need it. I think we're just going to beat the tar out of our opponent. I don't even think we want to go up. I think we just want to like bring in a couple more removal spells that are more efficient than Conclave. Because like this is just this, but better. Then cut a Pride of Conquerors. Yeah, we're going to do this. I need a restart. I need a restart moto after this, after this uh, game here. Okay, so we have double one drop and a baffling end with a sacred foundry. So like these cards are pretty solid here. This is kind of like a mulligan, and this is pretty far off. I think I'm gonna keep this because of the matchup. Because like Baffling End is gonna be so good on two if we get to smoke a um a card that they've suited up. And we can still play magic. And like even if we miss our second land drop and have a chance to flip with this right here, like because maybe we're supposed to cut an Adanto's Vanguard. Because like gaining life isn't good, or like paying the life isn't good against this deck. Turn. It's not a good draw, so let's play this so that we can get use out of our bodyguard. I think I'm okay trading one for two here. We're behind in the race. Maybe that's just a mulligan. Because like this card's pretty uncastable. 
This card's not great. Exclusion Mage. That kills my token. Yes, after seeing this, I definitely should have mulligan. We'll remember that for the next game. Get in here with this. My opponent doesn't have a lot going on. So if we do hit a land, we can at least get rid of one of these. Like, we get rid of this one. Problem is my opponent, like, yeah, see, like, this, the issue is that the Tempest Degen is just going to trade, like, this is going to trade for this. Probably, I, yeah, I was supposed to mulligan that hand. Even on the draw, it's just wishful thinking. Because like the Pride of Conquerors is pretty bad if we if because we can't go wide. We're gonna take just about one more draw step here. All right, we're gonna try this. My opponent lets it happen, then we'll keep playing Magic. If they don't, then we won't. We're gonna take this. Tempest to Jin. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. You got it, sir. Yeah, I, was, I should have mulliganed. Definitely should have mulliganed. Begin cyborg. So on the play, I don't really want any of these other cards on the play. I think we're just going to submit. I don't think it's like a play draw matchup. Like Baffling End is just good. Pride of Conquerors is medium. We have three removal spells, just enough to get through. Now we just have to try to get like, I'm, I'm assuming this deck folds like Hawk Pride Mate. Like Hawk Pride Mate is just good night, Irene. Would like to play first, yes. No, we have Hawk Primate, but we have five lands. Or land in Aurelia. Maybe. This has the combo, but it's got five lands. Like if we draw another land, we're just dead. This hand's pretty slow, but we're gonna keep it. We're hopefully we can hit a two drop or a one drop. Like a creature on top. Another history is probably fine as well. We'll take this turn. We have the illusion that our hand is no bueno. Okay, so I'm just gonna baffling end this because the baffling end is gonna trade for this no matter what. And I would like to use my mana this turn. So I'm going to go History, History, Ben Alish Marshall, so that on the turn that one of our History pops, we are, though this could get Spell Pierced. Uh, if they Spell Pierce this, they're not playing a creature. So then on the turn that our History pops, we can play a, an Anthem. Let's attack first. Play history. Oh, I gotta fix that up. Um, title, white, red, White red aggro. Forgot to change. I I forgot to change it up. 
I think I'm still just going to jam the Banalish Marshal. Because we're attacking for 12. This will be 16. Always yield. And now we get to play a Scar March Esper too. It's so tempting to just like bend, like, but. God, is there any merit to doing that? To just getting this off the battlefield, cracking, and then playing the Sky March? And I can hold my land. I actually like that. Play this. Because my history is going to pop next turn anyways. I need to restart Moto in between. Title police sound the sound the sirens. Yes, they are. The sirens are just a going. And they don't have a card like Saddle the Wreckage, so we don't really even have to worry about this. So now any combination of two of our creatures are lethal next turn. So they need to play, they need to literally put four blockers out. Okay. Let me restart Moto here. So I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight or this morning. My name is Dylan Hovey and I'm a part of the Card Hoarder Network. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. They have sleep. Okay, sleep. I didn't, that's a standard lack of playing around cards. Lack of knowing. Um. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. My hair is everywhere this morning. Um, if you guys want to connect with me, check me out on Twitter. That's linked below. I like talking about magic there. And I tweet about my dogs, which are both which are both great things. Uh, if you missed part of the stream and want to see it, I archive everything on YouTube, which is also linked below. If you're on YouTube, you can find my Twitch streams, which is also linked below. And uh, if you're looking for singles, you should check out Game of Craze. It's a store in upstate New York where I learned to play magic. They foster a college environment, so their price is always super competitive. You should check them out. So that is the obligatory plug while we wait for Moto to come back. It was sleep or bust there. I don't even think sleep fixes that helps them as the game goes longer and longer. Because we just have like after that turn, we just have like six three threes. Should be coming back now. Oh my god, I just saw this meme. I have to show you guys. And gals. I'm assuming everybody that's here today either watched the Pro Tour or has heard about LSV's um, Settle the Wreckage. This is great. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Yeah, I'm assuming that this mono white deck is like really going to struggle against a. And where am I looking at this? Is really going to struggle against Eater. We can go one drop, double one drop, gain life. And I don't think we want another one of these. So we're going to have a really hard time against 
Josh, I lost my train of thought. I feel random with them that they've been crucified. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I definitely understand where you're coming from. Because, like, is that the pen trick? So we're going to go Banalish Marshall into put this thing next turn. So we're probably playing against Drake's. <clears throat> I think we're, we're playing against Mono Blue or Drake's, I think. Because like if we're playing against Blue White Red, I think they've been playing two islands. Would suggest that they have a pretty anemic draw. So yeah, it's the whole like, is that the pen trick? You know? Like, or not. You know, are you, you're not making a game action. But this Banalish Marshall, I'm playing against Mono Blue again. This Banalish Marshall with, we can just sit, we're like not get this into combat. Both of these settle. Yeah. We're going to hope this doesn't get counterspelled. If this gets counterspelled, then we're just going to swing in here with the team. We're going to attack it anyways. My opponent wants to like put something in and try to eat something. I'm all right with it. Because we want this to flip. Isn't always logical. Yeah. I mean, you're definitely, you definitely have some rightness there. Yeah, Settle is so, like, Settle is an offense, it's almost like an offensive card. What did they do? Oh, they just murked my token. That's all right. I'm not. Well, is it worth? I think it's probably worth. No, I'm going to save this. If they want to just draw cards and whatever, I think I'm just going to save this Conclave Tribunal for a Tempest to Gen. And I can just put another 2 2 on the battlefield. When he had a good start and was at four, there was no reason to be playing into it. Yeah, Settle the Wreckage is really bad when it's bad. And it is very good when it is good. Oh, he's playing Tory Winner. Okay, do this. Tempest of Gin blocks, taps this down. This blocks here, this blocks here. Can sack this. The gin taps here. Oh, not the gin. Uh, whatever the dumb card is. I think I'm going to play Conclave Tribunal on this. They counter it. Trickster, sorry. Trickster comes in. Trickster taps this. This then blocks this because one, two, three, because we have the city's, bless city's blessing. Trickster trades here, they take three, and then we play Healer's Hawk. There's an argument to hitting this. Let's just remove a blocker from the equation. Always live with that. Here's Trickster. Turn off all the woods. So trade, trade. Oh, because the Banalish Marshall. Oh, that's nice. I missed that completely. It just makes it so. Oh, wow. I should not have attacked. That was loosey goosey. Yep, punted that. Definitely punted there. 
Now that I can get back into this. Play an island. Yep, no, definitely. Cause like when this when this gets tapped, it loses its ability. Yep. I just I just that went right over my head. Main deck entrancing melody. Don't say. So if I attack, they probably block here. This gets in. We make another token, they're down a creature. They're one. Let's just do this so that every creature is lethal for the rest of the game. I shouldn't have played my thing beforehand. Playing, I'm playing this a little loose. Draw a card. Definitely playing this a little loosey goosey. Main deck melody is kind of cool for a deck like that. <clears throat> I have to like slow down, do this right. Yeah, if we would play this tight, we'd have just such a better board right now. Block, block. So let's get in here. Let's go into combat. Okay, so we're not going to do anything. You have made a token and double blocked. Interesting. Might have been right to do. I kind of just want to like, whatever, I'm putting on, putting at least two creatures on the board at once. Was this a sleep? Oh, wow. Tapped. Dude, we're so dead. These entrancing melodies out of this deck are very good. Turn off audios. That's probably it because we have to start blocking next turn. Yeah, no, I just didn't think about it. I wanted to just like make it so they couldn't and maybe I'm supposed to like maybe I made a mistake all the way back here on this conclave tribunal. What I did make I made many mistakes in this game. Like I forgot that when this taps this, it minuses the power of my creatures. All right, let's I think we're going to sideboard the same way we did last time. Yeah, no, I, I, I mucked that all up there. That was just a very poorly played game from the home team. Is that game one? They have main deck and transmit melodies, okay. You played this deck yesterday? Yeah, I've just tossed it in for today. And I played I played that last game like an asshole. Dude, I want to keep this hand so bad, but we only have 19 lands. We have like the combo. But we have so many threes. We have to be an adult. We can afford to miss for a turn. Because we go healers hop.
We go Healer's Hawk into Dauntless Bodyguard if we miss a land. But we have to hit two lands to really turn our hand on. Unless, and I don't think this is a matchup where like a Johnny's Pride Mate is the absolute stones. So I think we're gonna ship this. And yep, this hand's much better. Oh man, we have the Cliff Top Retreat Nightmare. We have to put this in the bottom. Like we just need an un we need like a sucks to have two lands and need one more. Not really interested in the pride mate unless unless I've got an untapped land to play it because we're already gonna play off curve. All right, so that's not bad. Um, let's just use our mana. Play the Adato. You got it, dude. A baffling end would be nice here. So we can go baffling end plus sky marcher. I wonder if we just pride our opponent to the moon. So Andy, what went on with Dizani on camera? Oh man. Alright, now we're just gonna be mana efficient. I played like shit the last game, which is why we're in a hole here. I saw Dan was tweeting about it, and I know Dizani's been like a bit sketchy in the past. I just saw people were tweeting about it yesterday, and I saw like there was some uh, field preview this turn. There was some um, can't block this thing right, so that's fine. Yeah, I saw people tweeting about it. And like he's been DQ'd from a PT before, right? When statued his creature and he puts his enchantment in the graveyard. Well, that's weird. He mentored on Vanguard, which you can't do. Yeah, because Vanguard never triggers, right? So we're just swinging in with everyone here. And then we're going to play a Sky Marcher. And then we're like decently close to this one, two, three, four. We have eight. So we hit a Legion's Legion's landing would be the nine next turn. You can statue enchantments. It's just a shitty angle to take. Yeah. Yeah, because this never triggers. This never goes on the stack. It's just like a, a thing that happens. And he had to remove all previous attacks that I had. Jeez. And all this was done on camera? Like why why didn't why wasn't this taken care of? That's such crap. We kind of have some interesting stuff going on next turn. That history. History gives me. Because if they have a Tempest to Jin, or not a Tempest, they have a Merfolk Trickster, I get kind of wrecked here. Let's go to combat. Now, I can still attack with this. Question is, am I going to pay for life to keep it alive? Four, because that means they're going to attack me for five. From Because I'm assuming they block with Trickster. I think I'm good attacking with this Vanguard. They have another Vanguard. How does this work? They have another Vanguard that I'm in trouble. So I think we're just gonna pass. We get the city's blessing, city's blessing with history banalia. 
And I think the longer this goes, the better it is for the home team. Ooh. All right. <clears throat> Can't block it. Diamond there, blue. Okay, so we should be able to do something here. Right, maybe not. So trade, trade, eat, eat. My opponent has to block at least three creatures. I don't think his Pride of Conquerors is going to get any better, though. Because like, they're tapped out now. I think I'm gonna go for it. Because these aren't gonna trade. They go trade, trade, these die. This becomes one power. They block here. This lives because of pride. This lives anyways. Yeah, I think we got to just get in while the getting's good here. Now we pay four. Trade the board. We'll trade their big creatures. Man, that that hit that spell pierce was big. I probably should have played my land. Maybe. Bringing life. I think we're dead now. Pride of Conquerors doesn't really do anything. Keeps my dude alive, but I should probably should have just cast it because they're going to block this forever. Yeah. We dead. Because Diamond Mare is going to gain in life. They're drawing two cards. I wonder if I, if I fucked that game up. I fucked up game one, for sure. Game one, I just was not thinking at all. And I messed that up. I saw Zach gave you some credit on his uh, PT deck there, Andy. I enjoy interacting with Zach, so it's nice. it's nice of you to help him out. I tossed game one. That was that was my problem there. I think the way that the game lined up there, I, I had, was going to struggle to win. Maybe. Maybe I should have forced more damage, but I can't do any more trades. I don't think I'm going to. Those Tempest Agents keep attacking me. I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah, so that's what I want to do here. Like I, So uh, this is my second League of the Day. I... Played Yuya's, um, I played Yuya's, whatever it is, um, Drake's deck. I was not a fan. I think after one league, I wanted to change a lot of cards. But I think it's also, I'm not sure Drake's is very good at the moment. Unless you're like the full cheese mode. Because he had no, like, like there was no, we went 3-2. I should have gotten 4-1, but I punted. A match by not assessing my role correctly. Oh, shoot. 
but after playing some, I thought the Rao was pretty bad. And I thought there was like too much removal in his deck and not enough ways to like we we only had like one explosive arc light turn in the entire league. I don't know if that's probably because I sideboarded poorly. I added a I think your deck wants like a blink because you are pretty cold to Ixalan finding. They had a little bit of everything. I don't know if this deck is going too many ways. Like that might be the problem. Like I have to go like all in on like the red the red ones or like more all in on Electromancer and less Enigma Drakes. Snapcaster Bolt. Wrong format, dude. Alright, we have the combo. We also have the combo of playing History of Vanalia multiple turns in a row. My opponent keep like tap land flower. They must have like a million flower flourishes in their hand. Legion Planner, okay. Beast. Do you draw one land? Yeah. We're just gonna hit so hard. We don't wanna draw another land the rest of the game though. So the Legion's landing is going to flip. Um always yield. Then yes. I played a lot of Pass Without Bliss. I'm not sure what is best still. I don't think Drake's is good right now, though. Because, like, I think that the metagame is going to move. Like, correct me if I'm wrong here, Andy, but I think the metagame is going to move in such a way where Adondo's on top right now. I think Chain Whirler is where you want to be. And then when it goes Chain Whirler, it goes Branch Walker because the branch, the green-black decks beat the red decks, I think, if you're ready for Rekindling Phoenix. And then the decks that go over the Branch Walker decks are like decks with Teferi and Drakes. And then the decks that beat the Teferi and the Drake decks are maybe like a Danto. All right, so we're just going to send it in here. We're going to attack with both first. Like that's what I think is going on in, in, in Standard right now. Like I think there's a really good wheel. And then there's like other decks that are on the outskirts of that that are still good. Let me give you a history lesson, sir. We still get like we definitely could get marched out of this game. What is this? Nice. This format's pretty great. I think white winning card quality is a bit high for an aggro deck. So this is a little unfortunate. This locks it on Smiter bricks this thing. Yeah, I think it's difficult. I do, I do also agree it's difficult to hate out. So I think we're just going to play History, play Legion's Landing, attack with Healer's Hawk. Because, unfortunately, I don't really want my uh, Johnny's Pride Mate to trade. So this locks it on. Yo, the incidental life gain you get from this is so sweet. And then we're going in next turn. We might be, I mean, if my opponent's got main deck cleansing Nova, then like, good on you. I don't think it's green white deck. I don't know. So I don't think we're going to play around Settle Sage. Like, I think I'm just cool getting settled. Maybe I can, like, attack with Healer's Hawk in, like, two of these. The problem is they're just going to march me. And if they go march into, like, what's worse for me? Getting settled or march? I don't think getting settled is that bad. This flips this. You cast two more spells. Yeah. I 
I, I doubt they have main deck tower wreckage. All right. So it appears I was wrong. Maybe I was not wrong. Okay, so we're going to get marched. This card is so clunky. I played a little bit of green-white last night, and just this card was just not very good. It felt like it was needed, but it just wasn't that great. So now we just turn them all sideways. <clears throat> Amara, okay. Could probably tribunal the pride mate or a history. No, locks down, okay. Excuse me. Didn't really do the math on this one, ladies and gentlemen. So this is Duchess Gang, so pay for life. It might not be actually game, but it's like pretty close to game. Because it's six. This is 1821. No, they're at 10. Never mind. I can't do math. I forgot they were at 10. I looked at my life total and saw 20, and I thought they were at 20. Okay. So against green-white, they're going to play, like, settle the wreckages and stuff. I don't think any of my removal is that good. Aurelia is probably nice. No, they have they have Lyra, so I do need some of this. I have no idea how to sideboard. Like a Danto might not be very good. I don't think Settle the Wreckage is that good. <coughs> I'm probably going to bring my Adantos back in on this play. Maybe I just want to cut all my Adantos and then be able to hit, like bring in one Baffling in to be able to hit whatever it is. I don't think Settle the Wreckage is that good because, like, ugh, maybe I bring in Settle, cut one Pride of Conquerors. Or maybe I've already lost if they're attacking me. But Settle the Wreckage is also another answer to Lyra. I don't know. I'm going to sideboard. I'm going to bring my Dondos back into this play, but I think this is what we're going to do here. I have no idea if this is how this is, this is supposed to go. We're going to mulligan this. Gross. All right. All righty. Tough way to go, but... Um... Play this. Get a Johnny's Pride Mate into play, and then play Legion's Landing. Maybe hit something else and start throwing it. That's really bad. <clears throat> At least we mulligan on the draw. We're going to be tough to win, anyways, I think.
Arch of Alaska. Knight of Autumn, you're gonna make it a big boy. No, yeah, you're gonna make it big. Yep, definitely good attack. Aurelia might be the hero we need. I wonder if I need to play attack with everything next turn in order to flip to get Aurelia in there. This just gives Vigilance, right? Because none of my creatures are red. Okay. This is a Conclave Tribunal. Gross. Probably hit my Pride Mate. They have City's Blessing already. Yep. You got it, opponent. Am I blocking? I don't think so. Well, he's not blocking with this. They're going to make it so I can't block with this. So let's just get in here. Okay. So now I just block a 2 2 light blinker. We're good. That was gross. I think we're going to cut this Aurelia on the play, maybe? I want to bring four Dantos back in on the play, I think. This matchup seems tough. I did mold a five, but mold a four. This probably isn't good. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I don't think Baffling Young is that great. I don't have any idea how to sideboard. Maybe Pride of Conquerors isn't where we wanna be. Alien Vanguard is nice. We can get going with. Maybe this card's not good. I don't really want to be casting removal spells in the play, though. I'm going to try this. I think it's about Battlefield Presence, so maybe the Pride, like the Pride of Conquerors is just like such a card that they can't beat. Top. Just hope we can get a good curve. It's not a good curve. Yeah, we're gonna keep this, I think. Put this on my bottom. If I don't know. I don't know. Take one. I think I'm going to just trade here. Well, no, I want to make my Banalish Marshall better. So let's just play this tapped. I mean, it's nice, like, getting them off of Convoke. But I can go Marshall and potentially trade for an Emeria next turn. Or Prowl Harpoon. <coughs> You got it, my friend.
Because if they trade here, they can't play Federated Locks on this turn. This is a deck that I think should be good, but I always lose whenever I play it. I just get worked against this deck. Why would you play a land and then flower? If we draw, like, if we hit a spell next turn, we should be able to get some stuff going on. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not going to attack with the Marshal, but I am going to get in here with Vanguard. Then we're going to play a Danto. They want to trade here. That's okay. I just want to trade. It makes all their Convoke stuff worse. So maybe I'm supposed to attack with Benelish Marshall too. Because we get both of their things off the board. I don't know. Benelish Marshall just seems so good. They're at such a high life total though. History. Okay. Okay, so as bad as this sounds, I almost just want to conclave tribunal this, crack, flip, and go. It makes their con it continues to make convoke worse. I get to push how much damage? I get to push quite a bit. Three, seven, nine, flip. Ugh. If I get leered, I'm in such trouble. But like, they showed me whatever it is. And that card is also pretty poor against Conclave Tribunal. I don't like somebody could probably tell me that that was stupid, but God, don't lure on me, please. Yeah, that's the one card I was worried about. Into tribunal, gross. That takes my marshal out. I think nothing. Mental on the life linker. Or not mental trigger on the life linker. We are in Jeremy Rizani. If we were, I might steal us this game. I don't have anything. Can I do another tribunal? God, you bastard. Convoke one more creature. It's not very effective. That takes out this. They're going to gain four life. Can we board out our settle? Yeah, we did. Maybe the settle's just supposed to be in there no matter what. We're just, we're dead. We are dead. This is another deck. I, I think the green-white deck should be good. I just get screwed whenever I play against this deck. Whenever I play this deck, I just get wrecked. I don't know if I'm just taking the wrong, um, the wrong plan with it. Like, not playing it well and sideboarding well. That's got to be what I'm doing. It's got to be well-positioned. We're going to do... Two more matches, and then we are done for the day. It's been going for four, three, three and a half hours. Last one will probably take us to four-ish. Went out here, get our get our three-two. 
Greenway is bad against Chesky. Agreed. You can't be too self worried about honesty. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, is Jeskai good right now? Because Jeskai's not good against the Chain Whirler decks. Hey, Tannen. Because I think right now Chain Whirler is where you want to be. God, we got one land again. Two Pride of Conquerors. So if Hero's not going to Pride Mate, which could help us fix us being slow. So I'm going to keep this. Put this on the bottom. We need to hit a land drop next turn. If we hit a land drop next turn, I can go double hawk. Okay. I think double hawk's where we want to be. Then we can play pride mate. I think the pride mate double triggers next turn. Because I believe that's how that works. Yeah, you got it, man. Get my Tarmogoyf going on here. Yes, I would like to grow my huge creature. History, okay. Just the Chinese Pride Mate. I'm going to give myself the option to um, Pride of Conquerors, even though it's likely not going to happen. So, what do we have next turn? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, if we hit a land, we can Pride of Conquerors to the moon. Okay. These are flying, so yes, I always I always miss that with this Legion's landing. Yep. Yeah. I think we're still good right here though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Play this. This is ten. And then we now we just crack in. They like have to suicide their blocks, which makes this much worse. Yeah, definitely. I I just straight up punted there. Because we're gonna get both of these. This is just the I can never beat Pride of Conquerors block. Which is, you know, whatever. Like, that's probably how it's going to be most of the time. <clears throat> but yeah, I, don't know if, I never feel like, I feel like you're just never supposed to play around that. Yeah. Like, you just never play around Pride of Conquerors because if they have it, you're just never going to win most of the time. So in the mirror on the draw. Do I just bring in like, like is this what you're supposed to do on the draw? Just bring in more removal because I can hit their Banalish Marshals. Settle in Aurelia and a land to go over the top. Like, Adonto's Vanguard probably isn't good unless you're pressing the advantage because you can't afford to pay the life. And Pride of Conquerors isn't good unless you're attacking. Like, I, I, like a, a defensive Pride of Conquerors makes me feel sick. Let's try this. And then we'll sideboard much differently on the play.
That was such a unsatisfying end of the Pro Tour yesterday. Like, I also like I don't know what it did, but it kind of ticked me off that like Sedge Click was like card of the day was settle the wreckage when sell the wreckage like literally didn't do anything in the finals and uh i think we got a mulligan keep this everyone's asking mulligan changes yeah i think the mulligan changes are pretty good in my opinion yeah like and everyone was like Yeah, I mean, as long as Luis says, as long as, like, if what's his name? Yes, if he asks and Luis says, no, I have not made a token, then, like, I don't see what the issue is. I think it's right to lead off with Hawk. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Eduardo and his style. So I can't flip. I'm just going to play two creatures. Have this protect the hawk. There's actually a chance that I, you know what, I think, well, the removal isn't going to matter. So maybe I should have played Leonin, Legion's Landing, so that it could flip next turn. Yeah, I should have played, I putted. He's your friend. I thought him saying that Card of the match was okay. Yeah, see, I tossed this. I should have played Legion's Landing so that I could untap and play Vanellish Marshall. Yeah, see, this is just a complete dumbass move here. These hunted witnesses are annoying. It is certainly the sell the wreckage, but like. I feel like uh, it just felt so bad that I feel like the way commentary was yesterday, it took away from the, what was his name? Andrew. I'm not blocking any of this crap. It took away from his, it made it sound like it was taken away from it, like his accomplishments. I should have played this last turn. We'd have much more going on. Bleh. And now I think we're sending in here. My opponent wants to trade. They can. If I can speak. Yeah, I mean, like, LSV is the golden boy of magic, like, for sure. I just was like, like, the better story is, like, you have LSV in his legacy, but the story of the tournament is David Goliath, you know? And, like, give Goliath some credit, I think. I'm not even, like, I'm playing this game probably very poorly. As I'm just talking. Uh, monkeyed him. Mon money maker him. Played off. Was the underdog to win it all. I wonder if we're gonna get. I wonder if we're gonna get it here with this settle. Keep playing our lands out. Back with his healer caught. Yeah, I know who Chris Moneymaker is. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think they I think they could have talked a lot more about David and Goliath. I think that's the story. Because like LSV is probably the best modern magic player of all time. Jesus.
how do I get more out of this settle? I'm gonna need more out of this settle to win. So I think we're gonna try to keep, we're just gonna try to keep trading off here. We have plenty of mana. Yield until the sunset. So if I go baffling in this, play Sky Marchers as Sprint. My opponent's going to crack me for a lot of damage. We're not going to play around Pride of the Conquerors. So for me to win this game, I have to get my opponent to like think that I don't have to settle the wreckage. So do I take a turn off of it, or do I just like go with it here? The problem is, I would play this Baffling End if I could attack through this Aurelia, but I can't. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, it appears we're going to be good here. As long as you get a rally in the settle. Yeah, I don't know how impactful this card is. Like, I feel like it is obviously very good. Now it's probably too good not to do. Because how much is this? This is... Yeah, I think we've just got to do it. Is there a way that I can block out of this? Like, double block here. Block this. Sack here. Block, block here. Block, block. Block, sack, make a token. I'm not going to win this game unless I get more out of the settle the wreckage. So I could draw, what does my sideboard look like? I have two Conclave Tribunals in. I think we're going to try one more turn. But I just don't think I'm going to win. Let's go here, here, here. Shouldn't have made my token, but like whatever. And then I'll just keep my hawk alive. Because maybe there's a way that the hawk plus uh, Johnny's pride mate gets things going for me. I'm likely very dead in the water, and my opponent probably knows that Settle the Wreckage is on their radar because of how big it was yesterday. There's also like an argument that it's just never going to get better for me for that settle than it was that turn. And if it's never going to get better, then I'm going to lose anyways. So like, whatever. Pride sugar. Keep this one. <coughs> Not going fine anymore. Legion's landing shore.
It's probably good enough now. Now we just hope to top deck a way to beat this Aurelia. <clears throat> I should have not blocked and then give them the option. I should have blocked. This is all stupid. Like I'm, I was playing a little out of order here. Very out of order. I should have blocked, given them the opportunity to kill me with a pride, and then done it. We hit this Aurelia, like we're not that far behind. But I don't think we're ahead. Experimental Frenzy, huh? You bring this into the mirror? Am I supposed to bring it, Frenzy into the mirror? I never saw, like, I, I didn't watch a game. I didn't watch all the games before. Oh, combo. I, oh, I guess that clears our top card. I wonder if you're supposed to keep that in your hand because of how important it is in the matchup. It's odd. A lava coil. So this is like Jeremy Gazzani's deck. Fairly certain we don't have a draw. Okay. Hmm. So am I supposed to have frenzies? This is just a replay of the PT finals. <laughs> I don't think I think this is a semifinal. I think this is Dizani's deck. I win frenzy in the mirror. That occurs out forcing an unfavorable blocks. It's kind of what I think. I kind of want these in, maybe just to hit Aurelia. Oh, I want my Adantos too. Or Tribunals might be too many. I don't know if this is right to do. My opponent kept in Pride of Conquerors. I don't, am I supposed to play Pride of Conquerors? Like, am I supposed to just like cut these? Bring these in and go to town. They both kept in pride just because it's unbeatable. Pride is good. Do you keep pride in play or draw, Andy? You do? That makes sense. So maybe it's right to go like this. Because we have, like if we tried this, we've got removal spells for Aurelia and we've got a removal spells for Benelish Marshall. But he doesn't play Benelish Marshall, right? I don't think, it, I don't think his list played Marshall. Even on the even on the play, like I thought it was pretty awful on the draw. Let's try this because I don't even think they have. I think it's definitely awful on the play. The way I'm sideboarding here, I want to play experimental frenzy. Not really. I almost want, like the way I'm sideboarding here, bringing in removal, cutting some creatures, I almost want Frenzy. But we're just going to submit this. But yeah, I'm not sure that it's right to board like this, but the way that this, the way that I'm sideboarding makes me want to kind of like try to resource them out of this game here. 
right, wrong, or indifferent, I'm not sure. Who would like to go first? So this is like one of my better cards. Tribunal is pretty solid. Good to have. But four lands is just not good. And I potentially might not have a play on two. All right, we're going to keep this. Bodyguard is better than... Did I, did I, I talked about signing that out. Oh, shoot. No, you were right. I, I thought I switched this up here. We've been going for a little while. I'm getting a little tired. Yes, Bodyguard is better than a Dante. I think. Yep. We talked about that in here. I believe I agreed with Andy saying that. I just didn't do it. Just derp. Big derp. We're going to lead on Plains, Legion's Landing. Having two Vanellis Marshals is pretty solid. Keep. We want to scry a two drop. That's probably good enough. Like we 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 lose out on a little bit of curve, but I think it's too good not to keep. I'd like to keep my, especially with this Banalish Marshall coming down. I would like to keep to be able to trade more profitably. I kind of want to keep my creatures around because it's going to create incidental life advantage from this Vanguard. Bottom coil shows. I'm going to double spell. It's going to set up like a, a really solid Aurelia turn next turn. Gain some life. Flip my landing. Do I have to get Banalish Marshal into combat, which I don't really want to do? What does this do? Does this give first strike? Maybe it is. Plus two plus four is first strike. Or plus two plus four is vigilance. So play this. I don't want to attack with this. I think I'm going to get put it onto the vampire. Because it makes so they have to trade here with a token. I gain four life. Or they have to trade with two creatures. Could just not attack. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with this trade. I don't think I'm okay with this trade. I want to flip this vanguard. I think I need this van this vampire next turn to flip this thing. It's gonna feel bad if they have an answer to this. But not I mean Conclave Tribute will do with this. Okay. So I guess I just give it to the Aurelia.
I can attack with this and mentor onto it. Or I can attack with this and mentor onto it. To make it so they have to trade a more reasonable amount of their board. We're not going to beat Pride of Conquerors. If I attack with this, they need to trade two things. You would have attacked with three creatures to double spell this turn. Didn't they have favorable blocks on everything last turn? We want to flip Legion's Landing so we can cast two spells. Let's... I'm going to mentor into this. So we deal with a history token. All right. I actually don't feel like I'm in a that, that bad of a spot. Kind of feel bad now. So I could mentor onto the Odonto. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to attack mentor. I'm going to give this mentor here. I can't mentor on Adanto. We're not Jeremy Design. Oh, I could have mentored on. Shit. No, I still can't. Okay. I'm gonna make it so he has to put two creatures on this thing in order to deal with it. Shots fired. <laughs> yeah. You better get pistol whipped by an Adanto Vanguard. Deal. Yo, this Aurelia is decent. What a tool. At least that's my second. Well, not, was only my second best creature. God, no. We're, there goes my Aurelia. What a bastard. Yield until next turn. Set. Legion's Landing. That was a solid turn from our opponent. We're just sending it in here. <clears throat> yeah, that's not good. Oh, we went from like, couldn't lose. Maybe experimental frenzy just is what we're supposed to be doing.
because like I have been buried in the two games I've lost, I've been buried by friendlies. We're not winning by blocking. Game one, you were losing really badly anyway. I'd have to look. What is this? This is, let's see what game this is. I feel like I've just got to keep this Vanguard around. You'll win so that's fucked up. That was game two. Game three. Game game two I just got destroyed. Lava coil. Yeah, maybe Experimental Frenzy is just like what we're supposed to be doing. Game two was a Frenzy game. No, game two was a Frenzy. He doesn't have Frenzy in his main deck. I think I won game one. At least I think. I'll have to look back at it. I think I won game one. Game two, our, my opponent had Aurelia and I didn't. And then uh, now I'm getting friendly. So maybe that's the difference. That's got to be... I think I should turn off my auto yields because we might want to create... Try to make some progress into this board. Two, four, one, two, three, four, five, plus nine. We go to three. All right, we're just going to rip a Pride of Conquerors. Whatever, I'll go to three. My opponent has a way to kill me. They have a way to kill me. I don't even think Pride of Conquerors, like, does it. Game two, they had Frenzy, but you were dead anyways because you had you had a bunch of tokens. Yeah. So game two, he had Aurelia, and I didn't. Is basically what it what it came down to. Does that even do anything? No. All right, scooping it up. Let's play the last match here, even though we're dead for cash. Let's play the last one. We'll make sure not to green green crush our opponent. Yeah, let me go look at that. And maybe this maybe this is the mirror the mirror cruncher. Yeah, we won this one. Got Aurelia Gut Frenzy. I don't remember what happened to this. I think this is mono blue. I played like crap in this game and got beaten this game. This we got we lost to green white tokens. Hmm. I had a chance in game two, I think. I think a Pride of Conquerors buried me in game two. Yo, if any of you guys are like modern people, you should check this out. It's kind of a little break of what happened.
I was just looking at what he was talking about there. I think the new MTGO PTQ was Dredge beating UW with main deck rips. Beating with G's on Crown. This is a heater. It's kind of a heater. <clears throat> Told my opponent not to scoop, which is what y'all should be doing. Okay, we're playing against green black. This is going to be nice. I hope I get something to do here. Wow. So I think I'm going to play history and then go Marshall Marshall. Next turn. I went five and three at regionals. I lost round one to my buddy playing Dredge. And then I won five in a row and then lost the last two, which sucked. All right, we need to not draw any more lands. I would like to time my marshals with the history pop. Plus, they're holding up mana. So, like, if they're holding up cast down here, then I really don't want them to cast down my Banalish Marshal. I like using Banalish Marshal for, like, just haste damage, when, especially when you can get it in. God, look at our big brain. We are so big brained. I mean, that is there. Dude, should we just like stop doing that deck? I will trade my vampire with this Midnight Reaper if they want to. I would like to, because the longer this stays on the board, the worse things get, the more advantage they're going to create. It's very sad I have not been able to flip this Legion Flaming. All right, well, we might as well gain this life here. We're just going ham nation. I woke up, I could barely move. Were you just under the weather? So still no flip, which kind of sucks. I think we're going to need this Adanto to flip to win this game. Just a NyQuil. That sucks, Tannen. Take the podcast off. Just don't do it this week. Or just wait, wait, wait a week. You're not going to break my heart. Vampire Sovereign. You do you, Bugaboo. All right, well, we're just going to send in these three creatures. Because we, we, need, we need our boy Adanto to start work in here. I don't want to hear what No, no, I mean like just just postpone it. Like just do it a day back. Isn't is Brad still uh whatever it is. Is Brad still traveling? I'm still not, well, let's think here. Let me think on this attack. So they block here. They take 2, 4, 6, 9. They kill this, block this. They take 3. I really don't want to attack with this Banalish Marshal. Especially with history. It's like if they want to use a removal spell on Banalish Marshal, then they don't get to use a removal spell on an attacker. 
I think. Oh, I want to look at that. That bad. I think he's back and okay, if anything. We'll do show tomorrow. I really just want to make him, like, if he wants to deal with this thing, he's going to deal with it outside of combat. No blocking. Because I just feel like I'm in such better shape if I keep this marshal around. I can't activate a Danto, unfortunately. And play history. I have five cards. Like I feel like they have something. You have to talk. I think it's I think it's Steamkin, but you're gonna have to talk to people that have drafted more than I have. Okay. Because, like, yeah, you can play Steamkin in more decks. Like, you're you're more likely to play Steamkin. Plague Mayor, main deck? Jesus. Why don't you take me out to dinner before that happens, man? Deal until next time, step. You're playing down in Vegas this weekend, right, Tannen? The Eldest Reborn. I should have made a token. I have six. Legacy C? You Dalvern them, or are you going to do something different? Can I make something happen here? I didn't even take, like, if I just attack, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess I can play a Danto. Yeah, I guess we can make something happen here. But I just make a token, and then Pride. I just the Grixis control a bit and think it's good, but probably just delivering people. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, like, with what you're comfortable with, especially. God. They're going to be able to reanimate one of these things, too. I think after drawing this, I'm just going, because we're going to lose our we're going to lose these tokens anyways. Because, like, he could just reanimate Plague Mare if I wanted to. Yes. Always yield. Always yes. Modify yields. Gets back Plague Mayor, okay. They go to get me again, then I'll just make another dude. Ritual of Soot. Nice. I think Ritual of Sut might be a little, a little suspect in your 
uh, in your Seeker Squire Plague Crafter, Plague Mirror deck. But I could be wrong. At least main deck. Yeah, sure. We're just sending it in with this Pride Mage Rear. Because it is going to die anyways. Now, let's get the one with the big butt out of the way. I guess I should have waited. I could have made them do it. Now they can kind of sit on it. But this Vanguard's going to be decent. But they can just, like, rebuy the stupid Plague Mirror. Five mana. Yield until next. What is going on? Can't even block that stupid thing. Yield to this turn. Because they can just like rebuy the Plague Mirror if they want. The last card's Ritual of Suit. So you should just get it back. Yep. Yep, big brain, big brain move from the new opponent. So we're gonna take, I'm not gonna block now, we're gonna take nine. Keep on chugging along with Adanto. Yeah, dude, we are. This isn't even polite. So now we're going to attack. Play Dauntless Bodyguard on a Johnny Pride Mate. We're doing this because we're going to lose this anyway, so the ritual is set. Next turn, we might as well get a counter on our Johnny. Yeah, this is rude. Getting cracked for six over and over again. What is this card? Is this a flying siege rhino? Beast. I don't really want to attack with this. Can I sack here? They just get this thing back. Oh, this is just vomit inducing. Things that this thing's an uncommon, are you serious? That would be that's just heinous. What are you getting back, Frendo? Just flying rhino. I'm not blocking. Yes. Siege Vamp is not bad.
Got it, man. Goes to 10 life, too. What a backbreaker. You don't think drafts be like that. I mean, both teams play hard. All right. So. No. Like. They probably are. Look at this. I'm trying to be a dead. I'm trying to be a nice guy, and he's just memeing on me. All right, dude. You're going to get frenzied. You're going to get frenzied. Aureliad. I don't even know if I should play that game against my opponent. You know, cards are coming out. Cards with one. Cards with one point of toughness. What if I should banefire this this boy? Tweaks him like a control deck. That's what I'm thinking. So let's get rid of. I mean, at least Adondo's Vanguard hits hard. Leon and Vanguard. Maybe we just cut Adonis Vanguard, though. Like, Pride of Conquerors seems bad if we're cutting out this many creatures. So the whole deck comes out. I don't need your negativity. I'm going to bring in one more of these. Get Flying Siege Rhino out of my face. No, that seems bad. What do they have for big scary things? I guess I can get flying siege. I can get rid of flying siege rhino. Nah, screw that. We're just gonna play. I wanna know like where. What deck? What deck hurt our opponent? We're gonna go like this. Like getting answers to the to his creatures just doesn't feel like a way to win the game. This guy probably like went 0 and 5 at an F and M. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep. We're gonna keep seven. I want as many cards that do things. If I put a mulligan, we're only gonna like lose a little bit. We're gonna lose certainly much more, much less than what would have happened. My opponent's just sitting there, just ready. Like they're just sitting there with like three plague mares. Yeah, dude. I am ready to get. Plague Merit in two turns. Yo, if we draw whatever it is, big dumb Marshall boy, cast down. Million dollar question. Not gonna seek this. Not gonna get rid of that thing. You speak the truth. I didn't say I was going to play Death Shadow yesterday. Okay. Uh, do I pre-order UMA or buy a new special machine? UMA. You should get the UMA from Gamer Craze. It's down there. They will. They have competitive prices everywhere. They always fight with Cool Stuff Inc. about it. Ready? Here we go. We're on it. Oh, nope. It's can't. It's tap. Okay. We 
we're still not going to attack with his vanguard because this is just like we know this is going. Oh, this is stupid. We know this is going to get cast down. We're done. But every morning you could get up and look at those that sweet, the sweet whatever it is. Um, God, our deck is so good. I refuse to kill the secret squire. Well, this Eldest Reborn seems odd. Yeah, that's not bad. Here's, like, the big question. Do I have to, like... Do I have to, like, Conclave Tribunal this? What are they going to bring back? So, in a perfect world, we hit our Experimental Frenzy. Or next turn. Because if I don't Tribunal it, I'm probably ditching Tribunal. So we're going to Tribunal it. Yeah. Dude, we have the little Hawks that could. I hope my opponent gets to like two and then play Mansion. Fucking right, dude. The absolute stones. God, yes. Play this, play Frenzy next turn. God, this thing flies? This thing is so obnoxious. I was probably hurt by a mono red deck at some point in his life. Or was like bullied by a guy that played White Weenie. Nice. Get ass. Now, am I just giving up on this history of Analia? Probably. Probably have to stop in the upkeeps now. I never played with History Banali on Moto. Choops Magoops. Nice. So I'll be like, what are you, what are you trying to do here, bud? Not blocking. Fear. Keep this one. This will gain in life. I probably want to flip this bad boy. We're just going to suicide two creatures. Like, we might as well flip this thing before we get Plague Mirrored out of the game. <clears throat> Yield until next one step.
Dude, I'm going to get you. You're sitting here all cocky. Just going to bane fire this guy to the moon. Are you shitting me? One, two, three, four. Play. Yeah, dude. We're going to just destroy this thing. Do I just want to destroy this? Play history? Play another one? Probably. Play another one next turn. You know, you're reasonable, Andy. I'm just going to keep attacking. I'm going to make it so that my opponent is like, could get Bane fired out of this game. Because I'm not going to, like, we got to just keep sending it in here. And, like, these things are just going to get plague mirrored at some point. Plus, they also lose a life. I'm going to get you, dude. This guy's like Bob. Bob's on your team, on my team now. Yeah, dude, go get your chupacabra back. There's Chups and Goops. What do you got, man? If we beat this guy, I'm the greatest magic player of all time. So here's big brain question. I think I'm going to just trade you this thing. I'll give them another card. They'll lose another life because they're just going to chupacabra this thing anyways. And Punk probably goes like, joke on you, flying siege rhino. God, please. All right. So we're drawing a land. Which is gas. Uh, should I play one of my lands? Probably not. God, I'm so good at this game. God, I'm so good at this game. Just keep them coming. <clears throat> All right, we are going to find Banefire. Yeah, dude, go get your Midnight Reaper back. I feel personally attacked. And now I have, like, a grudge. Okay. Nice. So what do we need? One, two, three, four. We can get them. But we need Flying Siege Rhino. We need, we need Experimental. We need, I don't even know. Okay, you got it, sir. No, no. Do I have to kill three frenzies to do this? This is so bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can kill two. Oh no. Did I do the math wrong? Three, six, nine. 
<sighs> that was awful. I have two, but I think I'm dead here. I haven't done this math. Three, six, nine, 10, 11, exact. See if that makes sense. No, it's exact. C's minus one. All right. Both teams played hard. That guy just headed out for me. Let's see what we have hit off of our Bane Fire. F our Bane Fire. That's kind of funny that I play the third Frenzy. Okay. All right, let's go back to this. So this deck is obviously good. I don't think anyone should play it now because there are people like that on Moto that are just ready to get you. Um, but in all seriousness, the meta game will probably move to like a chain roller spot and is going to make your healers, Hawk, Leon and Vanguard plan so much worse. So <coughs> it's probably not good to be on this sort of the deck, even though it beats up on the mirror. But I'm going to call it a day. I hope everyone has a good rest of their night. Have a good rest of the day, and I will see all of you guys next time.